Hi, my name is David Williams. I am T General Service Manager for Kenny Tractor Company. I'd like to tell you about the AF250E Foundation Drilling Rig, manufactured and supplied by IMT out of Italy. This machine is mounted on a 336E Caterpillar power module, which is fitted with a Tier 4 engine that is fully compliant with European and American emission standards. Let's go and take a closer look at some features of this machine. IMT make use of both Caterpillar joysticks to control drilling functions as well as using IMT pilot control levers, Caterpillar standard travel levers, the Caterpillar display and also an IMT display that controls all drilling functions out at the work area. Located against the right hand side of the window in the cab is the operator console or display panel. Firstly we have the ignition key we have the engine dial indicator, which allows the operator to select engine RPM. Behind that, we have a series of Caterpillar buttons that control various functions on the machine. And a more detailed description is given in the Caterpillar operation manual. IMT do make use of two buttons located towards the rear of the display that control the movement of the undercarriage, either to retract or extend. Behind that are the controls for the AC unit that ensures the operator is in an air-conditioned comfort. IMT makes use of the left-hand side Caterpillar joystick to control the functions of the main winch, which moves the Kelly bar in and out of the hole. It also controls movement of the house, the swing, either left or right. The right hand side Caterpillar joystick controls the movement of the rotary up and down the mast. It also allows the operator to control direction of rotation of the tool, either clockwise or counterclockwise. The operator is also able to select what drilling speed he would, he would be using through the use of these two buttons on the top of the joystick. The trigger button on the front of the joystick is used to select either low speed drilling or high speed spin off. Located on the right hand side of the operator's cab on the outside are three pressure gauges. Two of them for the Caterpillar hydraulic pumps and the third one for an IMT attachment pump. The IMT pilot control levers are located within easy reach of the operator. On the left hand side we have two levers that control the movement of the mass tilt cylinders. One for the left and one for the right, either mast up or mast down. The third lever in controls the boom function, either boom up or boom down. The fourth lever in controls the upper mast cylinder and the derrick cylinder, which is used for ease of transportability. The very last lever is the lever that controls the auxiliary winch, either up or down, and the auxiliary winch is used to help the operator in moving tools around the site. Located next to the IMT pilot controls are the two Caterpillar travel levers that are used to control the travel movement of the machine. Either the left track forward or reverse or the right track forward or reverse. Moving across to the right side of the cab we have the IMT control panel and we have the Caterpillar display and control panel. Most operators will be familiar with the look of the standard Caterpillar control panel. The IMT panel is a panel that controls and monitors and provides drilling information back to the operator. The IMT computer display is unique to the AF250. It provides information back to the operator about the position of the mast through the mast level indicator, the winch speed in and out of the hole, rotary speed as well as the torque value, and also a swing indicator. The display also shows the depth of the tool in the hole as well as what rotary speed is, is being selected or currently used. The lower portion of the IMT computer's display contains buttons that control various functions. Firstly you have the rotary speed function which determines which drilling speed is selected and a high speed spin-off button which switches between your low drilling speed and your high speed spin-off. The filter indicator light 
is a light that indicates when the IMT filter is blocked and due for maintenance. Next to that is a, is a green button that zeroes or resets the depth meter. The P1, P2 button allows the operator to split the caterpillar pumps if the site conditions require him to be drilling slower than normal. The green button switches the working lights on or off. The two green buttons on the end move the hydraulic mast foot up or down. The two yellow buttons control the oscillator system on the machine. The auxiliary button switches the hydraulic folding cylinder in the upper mast and the derrick cylinder. By the operator selecting that button determines which cylinder will be activated when the pilot control lever is used. The red button is an override button that overrides the main winch functions on the machine as well as the boom up and down function on the machine.